Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and flash the S26 module from Sono. This is the direct plug and play type from Sono. Uh, there are two models, S20 and S26. The S26 it looks more elegant than S20, but it is so much harder to flash. I'll show you today how to do it. So looking at the specs of the smart socket, uh, it can take a max load of 10 amps, so it's more suitable for any electrical device except like uh, the high load ones like heaters and uh, ACs and these sort of uh, devices. Uh, this is the UK type, here, and there's a button, power button here, I think this is the toggle for on and off, that's it. So beginning to disassemble it, there is one screw in the back. So this is how to disassemble it, Just you have to pry it out from here, pry out the plug. Now you can gain access to two more screws here. So let's move these two more screws. Now it can be disassembled. Okay, so it's a little bit hard now. You have this small board that contains the uh, logic for control. I think it contains also the ASP8266 uh, chip. Let's uh, zoom in. Uh, try to focus more. This is the ESP8266 chip and uh, the ports are not easily accessible like previous versions so you have the TX and RX on the right and you have the 3.3 and ground on the left uh, you can solder it you can go for all that uh, trouble but I'll try to do it without soldering uh, maybe I need a helping hand on that yeah, let me see so this is how it looks uh, when it's disassembled. It's quite small actually, the board and the 220 volts board. It's, uh, I, di I didn't expect that to be that small. I think that's the improvement. They made things much smaller than the previous version. And this is the reset button. I think I have to click the reset button so I can go into boot mode and connect the four uh, uh, pins for TX, RX and 3.3 volt and uh, ground So this is the board from the inside This tiny board is the uh, board that contained the ASP8266 and It also contains The pins for the ground VCC So I'll, I'll show you the pins again uh, I've done some soldering trials in here, so it looks bad. I will uh, Do it another way uh, now, this is the uh, RX pin and this is the TX pin. This is the ground, this is the VCC. You can try to do it here if you have a good soldering skills, <laughs> but unfortunately I don't. So what I'll do is uh, J1 here, it's actually VCC, and J2 is uh, ground. So I will solder v J1 and J2 to uh, these uh, pins here which I'm going to cut so I can interface them easily to my FTDI and the rest of the pins for the RX and TX I'll just touch them with the, these type of wires so that I can program them using the FTDI I'll show you uh, step by step Okay, that's for the purple wire. Now the ground wire. Let's do the same. So one important point before doing the flash, before uh, connecting the wires to TX and RX, 
with your hands holding still and the ground and VCC from the back as I will show you in the next uh, clip of this video uh, one important point I missed you have to keep on clicking this reset button then connect the USB then you have the freedom to connect the TX and RX by using the method that I will show you in the next clip uh, just be aware that it's not really required to keep on connecting the TX RX all the time just the ground and VCC need to be connected to the USB to the, through FTDI and uh, you, before connecting the USB just click on this reset button and connect the USB to enter the flash mode then connect this TX and RX pins as I will show you in the next clip and upload the firmware you will notice something wrong in the next clip is that the LED button was flashing while I was showing you the method so when you click the reset button and connect the USB the LED should the blue LED should not flash <laughs> it should be off that means it will enter the uh, flashing mode and then you connect the TX RX as I will show you in the next clip and start the flashing of this uh, sound device I got out uh, another way to do it so uh, you connect J2 to ground and where is it yeah J1 to VCC these are the easiest soldier points and my soldier skills soldiering skills are very bad you can see that so uh, I I don't know how to soldier these very uh, small uh, pins in here in the in the interfaces here you can see also my trials were very bad so uh, what I've done is uh, it's a little bit awkward and quirky but uh, you can uh, just connect the uh, RX to TX and TX to RX by holding uh, these two pins together in here oh. and then ask someone to help you to connect the USB and then upload the firmware and I was able to upload it only by this way it was the easiest way possible to do it and then uh, so after connecting these two wires and then after holding these two wires in this way you ask, ask someone to help you to connect the USB wire and then uh, you can upload the firmware uh, it will upload successfully there will be no issues if you just keep on holding these two wires if you don't want to solder these small pins but I don't see any other workaround uh, not to solder these two ground and VCC pins the only workaround I can think of is to connect it to the live mains and uh, then connect these two pins to uh, program to program the sun off to flash the TAS motor. But I don't recommend that. It can fry your PC or it can uh, fry your FTDI uh, board. So this is the safest way and the easiest way to do it. Little bit quirky, but it works. And uh, that's why, please, don't buy the uh, Sonoff 26, S26, if you want to flash it, if you want to flash custom f firmware on it. S20 is much, much easier. S20 is just like the uh, Sonoff Basic. It has some pins that you can just hold on to, or like the T1. But this one is, uh, the only way to get through it is to solder some wires and that's a little bit of uh, pain so 192.168.43.79 now you just need to change the module put it to son of s2x save it and then you can change the MQTT settings save them and then you can control the device now whenever the device is on or off it will also broadcast its state so I turned it off on and off it broadcasted its state that's it you've assembled it back you just turn on 
and you wait for the LED to stay off. If it's off, means it's um, connected to your MQTT server. And that's how you can control it from your uh, mobile phone. Um, so, yeah, it's stable now, connected. Okay, so the LED will stay off. Then once you turn it on, it'll give you this mixed light. Then you can turn it off, just like that.